All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an HTML5 website that looks great on all devices, desktops, mobile devices, tablets, you name it. Uh, so you want to go to Google and just type free HTML5 template. And the first one that comes up that's not an advertisement is this HTML5 up. And for this one, I'm going to, to just pick the first one massively. It's a very nice template that's easy to customize. So here it is down here. I'm going to show in the folder. And I'm going to extract that zip file. Okay, so what it looks like is that right there. You've got your got three files. There's three page. This is a three-page template. You've got a folder where the images are, and some folders where you probably don't need to get into unless you're really going to do something advanced. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and there you can see it. It's got a background with a, some sort of a gradient and then several images and descriptions, contact form, very nice looking template that you can, if you don't, don't, want, if you don't want this pagination down here, I think that's for a blog, you can just take, I'll show you how to take that out and uh, I'm going to show you how to just add, edit the images um, for this example, I'm going to um, make a duck hunting website with a domain name that I have, Duck Hunter Club, Duck Hunter Duck Club. So, first thing we want to do is open the index file. And whatever text editor you use. That's what it looks like right there. I'm going to start by just editing the, the title. That's the, the part that shows up under search engines. I'm just going to do something simple like that for the sake of this tutorial. I'm going to change the header to duckhunter.club as well. I don't need that second line. And can I just change this to a place to a place to learn about duck hunting and duck hunting clubs. So let's save that and see what it looks like so far. Okay, that looks pretty good. It looks like there's another thing to edit. So I'm going to go back to our text editor, and there it is right there. Very easy to find, very clean code. So I'm going to put that in. Then I'm going to go down to one of the links. And for this, I'm just going to put home. And I'm not going to get into editing these two pages, but it's very similar to editing these this page here. Here you can add your, right there is where you would add your link to your Twitter, Facebook. Just take out that pound and, and, and type in your link to your Instagram and, and if you have a GitHub account, put it in there. Okay, and you can, you can change the date, you can change the description here. I'm going to show you how to change the pictures. Um, I have a, a, a bunch of pictures already ready to go, um, so I'm going to show you just how to edit. Uh, that's what you would do if you, you have a, a file in your image folder with that name, which I do. Uh, 
got, I'll show you what I've got. I've got all these different pictures of ducks. And I also have a background picture too. And I'm just going to drag those. I'm going to actually cut those or copy those and put them right into here. And I misspelled BG, but I'm just going to delete the background one. Change that background. And let's see what we've got so far. Make sure this is saved. There it is. There's our background. Kind of a stormy, a lot of duck hunters hunt in the storm like that. And there's the first picture I've got. That's probably the most popular uh, duck that's hunted. And so I'm going to uh, show you how to do another image here. Just scroll down. There's pick zero two. I'm going to put teal there. And right here I'm going to put canvas back. And another one is pintail. And how about stop. Let's save that and see what we've got. Looking pretty good. Um, I think you get the picture as far as adding the pictures um, and then I just want to show you how great this this website this template looks when you go to a smaller size it resizes very nicely and let's go to maybe uh, a phone or a smartphone or iPhone look at that you've got your menu here these two pages are just as easy to edit as this one looks very nice doesn't it so if you have any questions please post them in the comments but um, this is by far the easiest way to get up and running and you can look at some of the code here if you want to learn HTML5 you got the article tag you've got a header tag which you can use as many times as you want within the article tag and there's a date and a, a a title for that picture and then a description down here um, and then there's a section tag that contains all these images you've got a div kind of a container div at the, the very top level and of course your navigation which automatically shows up this way on a small device but when you expand there it is right there very very nice temp nice HTML5 CSS3 template one of the easiest ways to get up and running and impress your uh, boss or your whoever you're making a website for get your footer down here you can have two footers this is for a footer for let's say you have a blog and you want to add add the pages to your blog right there you just change the link right here um, you put in your contact information um, creating a form is a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial here but if you wanted to have a form you just change your information put your actually that's all, all ready to go you just would change the action here to something to a script that processes that information and sends the email confirmation out and then of course just another section down here with your address if you want to put that and another section for your social icons and again you just edit the links right here where that pound, pound sign is and that's pretty much it you can put your copyright down here if you wanted to remove this link that um, 
gives them credit, you could do that, but I like to leave that in there if I can. Um, sometimes it's nice to give them credit for all the hard work they did, but you can you can take that out too if you want. Um, let's go ahead and save that. And that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. And please leave uh, me a comment or a question if you have any. Um, I'm purpose of this tutorial is just to show you how easy it is to get up and running with HTML5. Some of the, the other videos on here are about an hour long or two hours long and, it, and they go through all the details of HTML5 but sometimes it's also nice to just learn, learn by example and to get something up and running in, in a short period of time. And You do a number of these and, and you'll start to get the hang of it. Thank you for watching, and that's all for now.